Hey, what's up, guys? This is my new video on the channel. I'll be presenting it, showing my gear. I have an Instagram that will be down below in the description. It's actually connected to my YouTube channel. Just for the fun, I decided to make videos showing off you what I use on Airsoft or what I have in my collection. There's gonna be multiple parts in this video. What I have on me is inspired by United States Marine Corps loadout from 2009 to 2012. It is not 100% accurate, but it's okay for what I could have get for the money that I had for basically just Airsoft because I don't need anything more than just that. Let's start off the gun. The gun is a Spectna Arms AR-15 M4A1. It's a, it is a fully automatic version and semi. So it's not three round burst, so it's not an M4. On the top, I have a EOTech. It is a knockoff EOTech, obviously. I couldn't afford a real one, that shit's expensive. On front, I have a pet box. It's a battery case box, so it's not actually functional one. I do have a functional one. It's not on this gun, it's on a different gun. This is just a um, secondary gun, I guess. I have an LE sock. It comes with the gun, and that's just what, how it is. I did change a few things in this baby. Like, I changed the spring for a better one, and I changed the hop-up unit with the barrel. It's a precision barrel, and some things in the gearbox. I also changed the rubber, on a ceiling rubber, on the gun. I got new mags recently, like two days ago. They are... PMG 140 mags. They, I haven't tested it out on the game yet because I haven't been on one. But from what I've been testing outside, they're doing pretty well. They fit perfectly into my gun. And they have this cool pull tab. It's like a Ranger plate type shit. Works. All right, let me put away the gun. Let's get to my gear. What I have on me is a Pasget helmet with night vision rhino mount. I had to modify the NVG plate or whatever you call it, a little bit because it didn't want to fit my helmet. So I had to modify it, bend a little bit over it, fits perfectly like a glove right now. I do have a Kai eye band on the back of the helmet. Later on, you're gonna have a close up of it so you can see how it's gonna look with two zip ties to hold my goggles. Cause I do not trust those son of a bitches and they're only a secondary goggles, mostly for looks. I just feel like they look cooler. On my head, I got new thing. It's uh, my new goggles. They are, oh, I forgot the name from the top of my head. I, I forgot my name, I'm sorry, but those are my new goggles. I was watching a lot of YouTuber as Novridge, Silo. I know they're using the same one, so I got kind of interested. I saw them in a very good price. So I said I might just pick them up, why not? Just for fun. Turns out they're actually very good and they barely fuck up. So whatever they said, it is true. I've been standing here in complete heat in the summer with a fucking bad crab and all that gear. They did not fuck up. They're a tiny bit fucking up a little bit, but that's fine. That's acceptable, at least for me. On my face, I have a balaclava. It's a black balaclava. Unfortunately, it is not my mesh mask. I do have a mesh mask. That mesh mask, it will be replaced because it is too small for me and I want a different one. In a different color, it's black, and I just want to change one. So, for that thing, I'm just wearing a balaclava. Uh, I think that's all if it comes to my head. Let's go down to the chest area. I have a body armor. It's a SPC, if I'm not wrong. I believe it's SPC. It is a repro SPC. I did put a lot of things on it. On front, I have a triple mag pouch plus one mag pouch on the side they are carrying two magazines in every single pouch two mags two mags two mags two mags those in here are steel mags i do have those polymer ones that are on my gun they're on my other vest they're on the jpc they're filling up that place these ones are just the ones i have on this vest and i also have two polymer mags in here as well there are mid caps and one high cap so that's the thing. On the side, I have a real Marine Corps IFAC with actual medical kit in it. It's full to the brim. I am still missing a few things. On the back, I should have a hydration carrier with my name on it. My second name, I mean. 
and a flare pouch. What? On the side, I have one Mac pouch Why? that I already said. On the bottom, I have a groin protector. I don't know if you can see it. If you can, my cameraman's gonna shake his head if you can actually see it. All right, good. It's a groin protector. I love it. It saved my life. I mean, not my life, but saved me multiple times where I didn't feel pain, getting shot in the nuts. Because let me tell you, it is a pain and it hurts. On the chest area, I have two grenade pouches. They're currently empty. I have a tape. Every operator needs a tape. I'm not a really operator, but it's coming handy if it comes to batteries or shit like that. I have a... I forgot the name of this. Is just to attach tanks like my gloves. All right, there's gonna be a cut right here. Technical difficulties. I am sorry, my camera guy got kind of tired. He's holding the camera. Big shout out to him. If he would wanna, he can put his uh, YouTube channel into down in the description. But move on. I have a pistol mag pouch down here that I cut it a little bit on the edge and on the bottom, and I sold it. I'm wearing. I'm having scissors in here, medical scissors. You can actually see there are medical scissors. I didn't got a carry with a carrier with them, so I'm just wearing them in here. There's a multicam. I sold that in when I was younger because that was for my multicam kit, and I replaced that. Let's go lower. On me, I have a tactical molly belt. It's a two row, two row molly belt. It's padded, heavily padded. I can barely feel it. Here I have a cargo pouch, whatever stuff you want to put in there, you can put in there. On the back, I have another IFAC. I know that's incorrect if it comes to Marine Corps, not having two IFACs. The other one is just a random pouch that you just can put shit in it, like batteries or whatever you want. On the side, I have a real uh, United States Marine Corps uh, dump pouch. It does roll up. You can roll up, I'm not gonna do it right now, not bothered. On my hand, I have tactical gloves with hard knuckle gloves. You cannot take off the hard knuckles, but they are very cool. What I'm wearing is a uniform of, I have a frog uniform, frog top and frog bottoms. They are actual frogs. Um, they do have an eagle globe and anchor stamp on like hidden in the fabric. I also have Standard top BDUs and pants for it. And also, I do have a green version of this. I did not bring that up. It's in complete mess. It's ripped. It's fucked. I'm just not bothered bringing it down here. So, yeah, that's upstairs. Let's go down to my boots. I am not wearing knee pads, but that's for my preference. Um, the boots. They're just some combat boots. I have no idea what name or brand they are i know they're real i think they're british or american i am not 100 sure you cannot read where they were manufactured but they're super amazing their original price was like 55 euro yes we do live in ireland and it's euros down here boots costed me only 20 because i got them from my friend and he was nice enough to sell me for a much more lower price than he wanted for it so yes, I think that should be all my gear. I don't think I missed anything. Put it down in the comment section if I missed anything. I believe I didn't. I got an IR tab on the on the side. Only one because the other one is on my other gear and it's ripped. So yeah, um, yeah, I believe that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will be expecting you to see my another video. Bye.